ratio is up 46 percent yes sir the new computer is matching every child's christmas wish with toys in the inventory pile at this rate the comfort and joy index will go through the ceiling and our merriment projection will beat last year by 25 points we did it melvin we did it <laughs> this calls for a celebration oh, cider sheila cider <laughs> Ginger snap, Mr. Nick. Oh, you spoil me, Sheila. Me too. To the best Christmas ever. To the best, best Christmas, Christmas ever. ever. <laughs> Is there a fire? Oh. Need a solar wind jamming the generator? It's Godfrey. It's terrible. It's horrible. Nostradamus of the North Pole. It's awful. It's devastating. And it's all your fault. You and your blasted machine. My fault? Listen, you... Oh, yes, right, your fault. All right, now, you two, all right. Get to the point, Godfrey. And come down here. Yeah, jump. Ooh, certainly, sir. God, the modern contraptions make me... Nah, 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 nah. I, Nicholas, Bishop of Mycia, hereby found the Order of Santa Claus in the year of our Lord, 491. You pulled the plug to read us the legend of Saint Nick? <coughs> Each Santa shall reign for exactly 300 years, whereupon he shall pass the toy sack to a suitable successor. Godfrey, we know all that. We know that I'm Nicholas V, and that I won't be Santa Claus forever. But that's my point. Read the dates, sir, the dates. I know the dates. I took office. On Christmas Eve, 1691. 1691. That's right. Massachusetts got a new charter for Christmas that year. And I leave office on Christmas Eve, 1991. 1991. Wait a minute. Godfrey, you're blind. That's not a one, that's a two. I'm the calligraphy expert, am I not? And I say the mark on that page is definitely a texture, and that is definitely a one. That's a two. Look at the squiggle there. Anyway, the book is falling apart. That's why Nick put it all on computer. And the computer says he's got another year at the North Pole. Well, that silicon claptrap is wrong. And, and if you don't find a new Santa Claus by midnight, December 24, then Christmas will be no more. Oh. But that's only one week from now. I thought I had another whole year. The book never lies. Listen, I wrote the legend program myself. I copied the calendar right out of the book. I stayed up all night printing those numbers into the computer. I made a mistake. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. But Nick, what happens if you can't find a Santa Claus in seven days? <laughs> all is lost. It's all my fault. Christmas is going to die because of me. Nonsense, Melvin, nonsense. If anyone's to blame, it's me. Christmas is my responsibility. Buck up now, buck up. I need your help. Everyone's. We have a crisis on our hands. Well, it won't be easy. But we've been through tough spots before. Remember World War II? Supplies were scarce for you? And dodging those Stukas over Poland was murder for me. <laughs> but 
You made the toys, and I delivered them. On time. <laughs> I give you my solemn oath. This will not be the last Christmas. Thank you. Thank you all. Now back to work with smiles on your faces. Now, you three will be in charge. Keep production rolling until the new Santa gets here. You can count on us, Nick. Here's your flight plan uh -huh. and your star chart. ETA for New York City is four and a half hours, depending on the jet stream. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you. Once you reach terra firma, you will have 24 hours before your Santa powers begin to fade. And that means you'll start to become human again. You could feel the cold, catch diseases, cease to be cheerful, lose your Christmas memory. And if you should fail, you might even... Well... It's best not to think about that. Look on the bright side. Uh, no matter how human you become, you'll know your replacement when you see him. There will be a sign. Oh? What kind of sign? Uh, it's, hard, it's hard to say exactly. Revelation works in strange ways, but you will know. Hmm. Uh, put a little something in your bag. Change your snaps. <laughs> Thank you, Sheila. Nick, we're all gonna miss you. How will we know you're all right? I'll send you back a present. A, a word of caution, sir. We've never been this late finding a Santa before. The world is bound to feel the panic. <clears throat> We've already had a malfunction in the Ribbon Bay. Who knows what's going on down there? So the sooner you find your man, the better. Yes, yes. I understand, I understand. Well, looks like the time has come. I just want all of you to know that you three are the best elves that a Santa could ever have. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> Terribly. Goodbye. Bye. 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 One more thing. Godfrey, Melvin. Yes, sir. Do try and get along. You can save a child or you can turn away. A nickel, a dime. Please be generous. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. My lunch break started a half an hour ago. Where have you been? Oh, I'm sorry. I had a little trouble clearing airspace over Kennedy, but... Uh... Try to beef up the kitty, will you? 
see you at 2.30. But I'm looking for my replacement. I, I was hoping that uh, perhaps you might be the man. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. This is a time to rejoice, huh? And to give. <laughs> you won't miss a nickel or a dime, and uh, we'll put them all together and make some children very, very happy. Maybe even save a life or two, huh? Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you ever so much. Merry Christmas to you. Looks like your mojo's working overtime, huh? Is that naughty or nice? <laughs> Merry Christmas to all of you now. Uh, how nice of you. You're so generous. Hey, Harry. Put it on my tab, all right? You got it, Ben. Yo, Ben! Hey, how you doing? Daddy says we can give you a ride. If you promise not to smoke your cigar. Nobody said your father had any class, Amy. Shove over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Uh, thank you. We always feel better when we give, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Christmas is a special time for giving. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. So give it a rest, will you? Thank you. Merry Christmas. Help! I hate when you do that. You're late. And Susan wants you. So is the IRS. Ben? Ben, don't you run away from me! Yeah. Ben! Come on, little girl, sit on Santa's knee and tell him what you want for Christmas. We tried that three years ago. It ended badly, as I recall. Well, so did the World Series, but it was a hell of a game. Hey, where's your Christmas piece? Got a gaping hole on page four with your name on it. There it is. I pay you to write, Ben, not to litter. Well, I missed the deadline. You better give me the ax. Mm, too easy. I'm going to get a good story out of you if it kills me. You want me to notify your next of kin? Hey, don't push me. Sales are down, the board's breathing down my neck. Heads are gonna roll around here. You like to fire people. That's why they made you editor. Makes me break out and you know it. You're gonna have to fire me. I'm washed up. I'll be the judge of that. Now dust off your Pulitzer Prize and give me something good that I can print by 5 o'clock. Try shaving sometime. Yes, Mims Alba. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. What'd you do? Mug the Salvation Army? No, I did not. I did meet some very nice people. No Santa Claus, though, unfortunately. Huh? Well, I must hurry on. I need to look for a sign. Have it your way, pal. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, little girl. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Well, looks like you had a nice little Christmas party, huh? Oh, yeah. It was a doozy. Uh, give away a lot of Christmas gifts? Yeah. Made a lot of kids happy tonight. Hey, listen, brother, why don't you have some of that cocoa while it's still hot, huh? Thank you, brother. <laughs> You a musician? Oh, me? No. I'm an airline pilot. You, uh, you fly? Yeah. And tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy, and tidings of comfort and joy. Snap. Yes, sir. Uh, this may sound preposterous to you, William, but hear me out. I've been looking all over the city for the right man, and you're it. Oh, no, you fit the bill. You're generous. 
You enjoy being Santa Claus every year, and you already fly. Well, oh, here's my ride. Move on over, kids. We're going to give this nice man here a ride. Come on, Nick. Oh, thanks. It's, it's very kind of you, but uh, you go ahead with your family. I, I don't want to crowd you. I, I need the exercise anyway. You sure now? You keep up the good work, Nick, and hey, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> uh, hi, honey. Sorry, I didn't find a bench. Hey, man, watch yourself! Old man, he just wants to sit. Take it easy. Hey, you okay, man? Yes. Thanks to you, I appreciate you intervening on my behalf. But, uh... Duty calls. I must be on my way. Hey, what's your hurry? You'll go get yourself kicked out someplace else, huh? I'm afraid you have a point there. I don't know my way around this uh, city very well. I... Well, you're tag with Freddy, man. I show you a place you can cozy down tonight. You see? Trust me. You can trust me. I'm a trustworthy person. You come with me. Come with Freddy. I'll show you something. I don't lead you astray. I know what to do. You see? Some place along the way, I had to make a reference with my life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you see I've been here one year already, Nick. I play the watchdog at the rec center. Nobody bothers me. In Jamaica, I build the big houses, but I can't get no job here. Tough times, you know. You ever think about moving? All the time. Where you come from? North Pole. Oh, it's mighty cold up there. At first, but after a while, you don't feel it. Freddy, what would you say if I told you that I'm looking for the next Santa Claus? <laughs> I'd say you in a big bind, sure. From where you think you're gonna find Santa Claus in New York City? I was thinking that perhaps I'd already found him. Me? Why not? Well, you're not only kind, you're very brave. And you bring something new, something, something special to the Order of Santa Claus. Hey, thanks, man. But I don't see me in a red suit jamming. Ho, ho, ho. I see me plenty money in my pocket, sleeping on the beach. I see me going back home to Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't blame me for trying, huh, Freddy? You're a good man. You think so? I know so. <laughs> Sharp eyes. Check it out. Go fast, brothers. 
What's up? Santa Claus. Come on. <laughs> Run along, huh? Go on, go on home, where you belong. Don't make any more noise. Merry Christmas to all. We're, we're cool with that. Come on, guys. Yeah. Sure, sure, yeah. Come on, guys. Merry Christmas. First suit, huh? Merry Christmas, good son. Merry Christmas. Let's go to the home shop. Oh, bye. That yeah? was mighty real, man. I'm sure, deep down, they're really nice boys. For sure. You are Santa Claus, yeah? Oh, yes. Of course I am, Freddy. Well, Mr. Santa Claus, welcome to Chez Freddy. Oh? <laughs> little spot you have here. You cozy cool down. Since I got me a celebrity, I get some deli food. But check me. Sharp eyes. Oh, yeah. Sharp eyes. Right back. Tonight on Magical World of Disney, things get a little hairy when movie surfers go inside Disney's Mighty Joe Young. Hey guys, it's Tina from the Movie Surfers. Join me and the rest of the surfers for a half hour behind the scenes look at the making of Disney's next big movie. That's one awesome gorilla. It was no small feat creating this larger than life movie star. It'll be a hair raising experience when movie surfers go inside Disney's Mighty Joe Young, followed by Babes in Toyland. Tonight on Magical World of Disney, movies at 7, 6 Central. And now, a Disney moment from inside Vault Disney. in Toyland this month inside Walt Disney. And now back to the show right here on Disney. It was built in the 20s. Now, as you can see, the building has a lot of charm. I don't need charm. I need to tear it down. What do you mean, tear it down? Uh, please, Miss Liviakis, this is a matter for the city. 
Yeah, well, it's a matter for me and my kids and everyone else in this neighborhood. Just because we're a little behind in the bills. A little bills. behind? You've been losing money for a year. Yeah, well, the grants are tight. You tell the mayor... I don't have time for this, Councilman. Uh, me either. Uh, good day, Ms. Lubiakis. Ben! Come here. Hey, on, gentlemen. There's somebody I'd like you to meet. Hey, Melina, what's up? Councilman Ridley, Mr. Figgis, I'd like you to meet my brother-in-law, Ben Talbot. He's a very important writer for the Manhattan Sun. I want to tear down the rec center, Ben. Really? Mr. Talbot, I'm only doing my job. The center is no longer cost-effective. The city's decided to tear it down. It's that simple. Well, Mr. Figgis here is the chairman of the Figgit Corporation. He's merely a businessman interested in buying property. Yeah, I bet he is. Look, uh, the place has been here 50 years. It's got to be somewhere to save it. No, I'm afraid not. I've got a 10 o'clock. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Talbot. Miss Liviakis, if you have any complaints, I suggest you explore the uh, proper channels. Yeah, well, I will. You can count on it. Give him hell, Melina. Yeah, well, somebody should. What do you want me to do here? Go to war over this? You used to. Come on, I got something for you. Fixed. <laughs> Wasn't working yesterday. <laughs> Tony and I are thinking about asking you to be Tony Jr.'s godfather. Here's your official christening book. Uh, no, thanks. I don't think I'd be a very good influence in a little guy. Don't give me that. You love kids. You and Vicky were always talking about family. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have mentioned her name, but you know what I mean. Besides, you can't say no. Being a godfather is an honor. And tell Mom I'm sorry, will you? Tell her yourself. Seven o'clock, dinner, our house. You don't give up, do you? No. And while I'm at it, do something about the rec center. Write about it in your column, tell everybody what's going on. It's no use, honey. This block's gonna be cappuccino ice cream and condos in another year. We should both jump ship. No way. No more tunes. No fuss, no. Oh, thank you for a lovely breakfast. And that's a fine old piano you've got in there. <laughs> so Santa Claus fixed it for us. Uh, just a little trick of mine. <laughs> ben, how you doing? You meet Nick? Just Nick, huh? Yes. We met yesterday, I believe. Oh, thank you for your donation. Now, please accept mine. <laughs> thank you. That's just where I live. That's my job. Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Nick has got to find somebody to run the North Pole. Sharp eyes. Uh, oh, yes, sharp eyes. <laughs> North Pole, huh? Nick's sweet. Yeah, so is a fruit loop. Hey, guys, hey. Hi, Ben. Hi. We're watching the Christmas play today. Are you going to watch? No, I got to go to work. Okay, so you be a good girl. I love you. Love you, too. Okay, all right. I'll pick you up for lunch. Melina, it's chicken pot pie today. Ooh, from scratch? Oh, yeah. This sounds good. Maybe we could talk. <laughs> hey, try this. What is it? Putti dolci. Putti dolci. Putti dolci. Giant candy. Yeah. Mm. Too much lemon? No, it's incredible. I'm telling you, man. A guy that looks like you, cooks like this. If you have a maid in this town, you should beat women off with a stick. Look who's talking. When's the last time you had a date anyway? I'm lucky I can get you to a ball game. What's the point? Somebody always loses. Hey, check this out. I'm thinking of getting Amy ballet lessons for Christmas. It's expensive. Yeah, I know. But ever since Melina made her a dancing elf, all she talks about is tutus. Yeah. 
You know, they canceled that Christmas play. It's gonna break her heart. Yeah, well, brace yourself. The sharks are circling. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which... Ah, oh, come on, old thoroughbreds are high-strung, Charlie. She's really kind of nice when you get to know her. Yeah, no pass. Ben, I'm all booked up today, but I gotta talk to you. Can you meet me at O'Brien's for dinner? I got a choice? Nope. Then I'll meet you at O'Brien's for dinner. Susan, you know Charlie Mish, don't you? Oh, sure. We met at the opera. You were the fellow in the Mets jacket. <laughs> yeah, well, I never miss Carmen. I'm a sucker for a mezzo in a red dress. Well, see you later, Ben. Yeah. What are you looking at? Just wonder what they feed those girls from Vassa. Putti dolci. Next time, you stick to your sleigh, okay? Well, I'd have used it this time, but you don't have any snow here now. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your kindness. Our pleasure. And Merry Christmas to you. Same to you, Nick. goes under, gang slayings are up 40%, and an average of 35 homeless people are scraped off my street every week. Oh, lovely, Ben. This isn't a story. It's a laundry list. Gee, and I thought you were my biggest fan. Well, what would you call it? The truth. I can't wrap it up in a pretty little bow because it's Christmas. So it's the truth. Big deal. I can't print it. It lacks the proper feel for Christmas. What are we writing, a soap opera? Would you please stop that? Thanks, Susan. You got a quarter? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready for 
seen? If you have Ryder's block, I've got an idea for you. Because you're a woman, I'll forget you said that. Ben, don't be so stubborn. Nobody has to know. No. Oh. Here's this little piece of tuna fish hanging off your lip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This ain't no sun deck, Santa. You eating or drinking? Well, to tell the truth, I'd like to do both, but at the moment, I, I don't seem to have any cash. Then beat it. Oh, I'm sorry if I inconvenience you. My apologies. Maybe you forgot to enter your inventory code. Hey, wait a minute. You hungry? Huh. Famished. Good. Now you just won the dinner of your dreams. <coughs> You're gonna get pneumonia running around town in this wet outfit. Why don't you wash up out back? I got some work clothes you can have, too. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, that's a very prudent idea. What happened to my song? What about somebody on the symphony cutbacks? I hate that song. Ben. Don't tell me what to write, Susan. Money for the arts is drying up. Christmas is a time for music. It can work. Hey, how about this? We'll run a nude shot of Beethoven. That might work. Just print what I wrote, Suze. Nobody cares. I happen to care a lot. That's your problem. Jingle bells. Jingle bells, eh? Jingle bells. Hey, Santa. Oh, that looks wonderful, Louis. Thank you. Mm. What were we talking about? Caring. Oh, yeah. I really appreciate the pep talk, Susan. But nobody makes a difference anymore. Trust me. I happen to still think that a newspaper can change things for the better. Look at Louis over here. He's, he's giving this man a hot meal. This is the Christmas spirit. He's loving every minute of it. Why can't you write about this? Because it's a cheap shot. It's sentimental, and it's stupid. You really want to do something good, Suze? Why don't you help the old guy yourself? I dare you. What do you mean? I mean, don't hide behind your newspaper. Help the guy yourself. Take him home. Give him a meal. Give him a bath. Shower him with hope and opportunity. You want that pickle? Okay. Okay, what? Okay. I'll take him home. Susan, there's a bum off the street. Don't be an idiot. I'm not being an idiot, and I double dare you, because if I take this guy home and I really help him out, you have to write about it. Every heartwarming bit of it. Okay. You want to play hardball? Fine. But if the guy's a washout, I write that, and you've got to print it. Deal. Oh, hello. I'm Susan Roswell. Uh, Nick. Just Nick? Mm. I... French fry? Oh, no, no. No, thank you. Do you live around here? Oh, I happen to know. Uh, I must confess that I'm a bit baffled by this city. In town on business? Mm -hmm. What line of work you in? Toys, mainly. But uh, I'm being a replaced Christmas Eve. Oh, laid off at Christmas. That's tough. I knew it was coming. I just didn't expect it to be this year. Caught me unprepared, I'm afraid. That's a shame. Got any prospects? Not really. And you? I'm sorry? Uh, what about your prospects? You, uh, you seem to have a bit of a problem yourself. <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Um, I, I know this might sound a little forward, and I hope that you take it the right way. You see, uh, my friend and I over there, we have this little... It's... I got the impression that, uh, that you might need some place to stay tonight. Uh, strictly on the up and up. That is, if you don't have a, uh, a hotel or a, or a shelter or... This isn't coming out the right way. Oh, contrary. I think it's coming out beautifully. <sighs> Nick, come home with me tonight. You'd be doing me a big favor. I, I'm, I'm not trying to pick you up or anything. Oh, of course not. I understand. <laughs> so then it's settled? Why, well, yes, I think it's a marvelous idea. Okay. <laughs> so, everything okay? Couldn't be better. Say hello to Nick. 
Mr. Talbot, nice to see you again. You two know each other? Well, not really. I'm just in passing. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't recognize you without your, without your suit on. Hmm. Did you find anybody to run the North Pole? Mm, no, unfortunately. Appreciate you asking, though. No problem. Excuse me just one second. Come here. Come here. Deal's off. What? Look, look, look. This guy is a serious nutcase. I didn't realize it was him when I made the bet. Oh, no, you don't. You were willing to let me walk out of here with a total stranger, but now that you know that it's a perfectly nice old man, you want to call it off. Well, a deal is a deal. Susan. Hey, Louie. If I've been a little Christmas cheer, I think he's going to need it. Come on, Nick. Thank you again, Louie. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You get a double. Where are those two going? Christmas tree. Do you like it? No. Just bit me. Christmas tree shouldn't bite like that. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Oh, you know, I hope you don't mind sleeping on a hide bed. Well, I don't know. Does it bite too? That newspaper of yours is very fortunate to have you, a woman with your executive ability and compassion as well. Yeah, it's quite rare. Tell me, have you ever thought about being Santa Claus? I don't think red's my color. <laughs> Forgive me, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> no, I'm sure a lovely lady like you must have her heart set on having a family. <laughs> I don't get my heart set on much of anything these days. You don't really mean that, do you? It's just that uh, executive ability seems to scare off a lot of guys. Well, can't all be cowards. What about Mr. Talbot? He doesn't look like a guy who scares easily. Ben? Hmm. No, Ben. He puts up a good front, but he's in bad shape. Ever since his wife died six years ago, he's been slowly shutting down. He loved her very much. The doctors told him that she could pull through, and then she didn't. The day after the funeral, he was back on the job as if nothing had happened. What do you make of that? Looks like he's making it very hard for himself. Brutal. He's just too bullheaded to let anyone help him. You sure about that? He won't listen to me. You think he might listen to anyone else? He's got a friend, Charlie. Well, talk to his friend. Maybe he might help. Charlie doesn't like me very much. Well, but you both like Ben. That's the important thing. Hmm? Charlie is the answer. You are one perceptive guy, Nick. Just doing my job. You know, I think that it's great that you're so loyal to this Santa business, but don't you think that you should be looking out for your own future? Well, if I don't find a new Santa Claus, I might not have a future. Well, why is it your job to find this Santa Claus? Because I'm in charge. Of the whole operation? Mm-hmm. Well, to executive ability.
And they're wearing suits. Yeah, don't try and lowball me. I want an accurate bid. I can have this place cleared out right away. We can have the uh, records here next week. But they can't do that, can they, Molino? I'm afraid so, honey. But what about our show? I saw the most beautiful silver stars at the drugstore. It's gonna look really cool on your tutu. What do I need a tutu for? There isn't going to be any show. Harry? Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome, Charlie. Let me know when the new fan oil comes in. Yeah. No problem, you got it. Remember what I told you about Christmas? Christmas is a magic time. Anything can happen. That's what you said last year. But Mom still didn't come to visit me. Just because your mom is busy doesn't mean she doesn't love you. She sent you those puka shells from Hawaii, didn't she? Yes. Come on. Thank you. Global headquarters. Susan. I can't, I can't get a sitter for tonight. It, well, what if I brought Amy with me? That'd be better for me anyway. Got it. Okay, I'll see you. Yeah. Who was that, Daddy? That was Ben's boss. Hey, I have a favor to ask you. Oh, thanks a lot. No. Purely domestic. If you want me to fix your garbage disposal again, forget it. I need these. No, it's a stereo this time. The speakers won't work. Will you come over tonight and take a look at it? Yeah, I love it when you're helpless. Speaking of helpless, how's Nick? Oh, well, sharpen your happy pencil, Ben. He went by an employment agency this morning, and the way that man reads people, I wouldn't be at all surprised if he was chairman of the board someplace by now. Quit pestering my clients. If they want to be Santa Claus, I'll get them a job at Macy's. You, you don't have it, Mr. the cats you know that I thought you said no pink slips until January <laughs> Ben Talbot because his byline is gold that's why not yes I know that everyone is expendable you taught me that much I can't tell Ben that they want to fire him we joke about it but I'm afraid he'd really quit if we could just get Ben to shine again I know that the board would think twice he's got to snap out of it you think a dinner party's gonna do that well I just thought if he saw all his friends in one place it might make him feel more comfortable talking about things Ben I think you should have warned him he never would have come yeah so uh you don't cook much do you will you help me talk to him on one condition. You handle the wine. I'll do the sauce. You got any cilantro? Cilantro? Basil? Are you a Santa Claus? Oh, I'm not a Santa Claus. I'm the Santa Claus. Oh, yeah? Prove it. All right, Amy. When you were five years old, you wrote me a letter and said what you really wanted for Christmas was a pony. But, uh, well, you were a very smart little girl. You knew your father couldn't afford it, so you asked me to think of the next best thing. So that Christmas, I gave you a book, Black Beauty. <laughs> you read it over and over again, didn't you? <laughs> How did you know that? Because I'm Santa Claus. The Santa Claus. <laughs> I'll get it. I'm gonna go change. See you for dinner. Ben! You're early. Hey, Ben. What are you doing here? 
Uh, Susan thought we should all get together, you know, sort of a, a Christmas kind of thing. Right. It's Christmas, and uh, we're all friends of yours, Ben, and I thought that we would have a little dinner party. Yeah. You don't give dinner parties. And then there's ice fishing and bobsledding and, oh, my, oh, my, all kinds of wonderful things. But if I had to choose what I like best, you know what it would be? Your sleigh flying in the sky? The Aurora Borealis. What's that? Northern Lights. Oh, they dance all over our workshop. The colors are so beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, who's, who's ready for some dessert? Oh, I am. Is anything like this pasta? You should write a cookbook, Charlie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who's a tooth some delicacy? Oh. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much. Nick. Hey, you haven't told me what you wanted for Christmas yet. Well, I think what I want is for the rec center to stay open and for the show to be a big success. Hey, Amy, Nick can't work miracles, Amy. Done. Really? Hmm. Can you make it snow, too? Well, I'm not very good with weather, but uh, let's see what I can do. He's got no right talking to her like that. Come on, That's Ben, be nice. Play along with it. Amy thinks he's Santa Claus. <laughs> hey, whipping cream. What's running against him? Oh, I'll okay. go. Oh. Yeah, okay. We'll both go. That's good. Give us a chance to get to know each other. Yes, I'd like that. See you later, sweetheart. Oh, you know, it's so good. <laughs> I'm watching you. Pardon me? I don't like to see my friends taken in. Taken in? I don't care if you lie to Susan. She's a grown-up. But lying to a 10-year-old kid... What do you mean? All that stuff about the rec center and her show, you're setting her up for a fall. You don't care. You've got a comfortable crash pad for the holidays. But Amy will be lucky if she has an empty lot to play in next week. You love that little girl very much, don't you? I just don't want to see her get her hopes up, that's all. Sometimes hope is all there is. Mr. Talbot, about your friends. They're lovely people. They've been very kind to me. I'd never take advantage of them. But... They seem to want to help me. They seem happy in helping me. Perhaps you'd be happy, too, if you helped someone. Ginger snap? No, thanks. I'm a chocolate chip man myself. Tell Charlie I walked home. You got to watch it. Somebody get you, man. What's that sign on the door for? Big suits come by today. They're gonna tear everything down. Bad shame on the kids. Sad faces. At least they should do the show. Go out with a bang, you know. Can't you do something, Ben? I don't know anymore, Freddy. Oh, you got the Christmas blues, yeah. Not to worry, man. 
a big man as big as he do. You do what you can do again. It's not so easy. Melinda say everybody get what they deserve. She says she hope the suits all lose their shirts. <laughs> yeah. As with this crazy guy tonight, Freddie, and he, he said sometimes hope is all there is. You ain't crazy, Ben. You got to do something. It's your obligation, my brother. Right back. Tonight on Magical World of Disney. Come visit a magical place where toys are made. I bet you babes are headed for Toyland. It's the family favorite, Babes in Toyland. Woo, it's Toyland! Everyone in Toyland is busy making toys for Santa's big night. It's toy time. But an evil villain tries to stand in their way. Welcome to Toyland. Can the wooden soldiers save the day? All right. I know what happens in Babes in Toyland. Right after movie servers go inside Disney's Mighty Joe Young. Tonight on Magical World of Disney at 7, 6 Central. And now, a Disney moment from inside Vault Disney. Why, it's Maleficent. What does she want here? Shh. Well, quite a glittering assemblage, King Stephen. Royalty, nobility, the gentry, and... <laughs> How oh, quaint. Even the rabble. I really felt quite distressed at not receiving an invitation. You weren't wanted. Not what? Oh. oh, dear, what an awkward situation. I had hoped it was merely due to some oversight. Well, in that event, I'd best be on my way. And you're not offended, Your Excellency? Why, no, Your Majesty. And to show I bear no ill will, I, too, shall bestow a gift on the child. Listen well, all of you. The princess shall indeed grow in grace and beauty, beloved by all who know her. But before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she shall prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel. And to see more classic Disney moments, keep watching Walt Disney. And now, back to the show right here on Disney. Hey, buddy, nice suit. December 23rd and exactly 9.03 in oh, the morning. Good heavens, I've got to get no, out. No, no, no. no and we can't let you no. leave until the doctor I must, releases I must. I, my, my things, my clothes, my Not suit. Not to worry now. My, my kid, you Your personal you. effects are in the nurse's no, station. No, I've got to get out of here. And I'll get your medicine. No, please. Calm down. Oh, calm down. What am I going to do? The council is a major stockholder? Yeah, since when? What about the uh, condos in Riverside, them too? They're the best, Edna. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like old times. Look, you, you get any more, you'll give me a call? Thanks, honey. Your light's okay in here? Yeah, my lights are fine. Just checking, you know, the whole fifth floor is out. Um, I'm sorry I barked at you yesterday. 
You're sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Don't spread it around, all right? Uh-huh. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Call Frank at Garber's Auto Body. Tell him I'll pick up the truck in a half an hour, okay? Yeah. Thanks, Harry. I You're appreciate welcome. it. Excuse me, sir. No problem. Hello. Uh, my name is Nick. I know this is a strange request, but I was wondering about my body a suit at last. No, you, you don't understand. It's an emergency. I can't... No, 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 please. No fighting now. If it's inconvenient, you, boy, I understand completely. Oh! Very naughty. I warn you, if you continue this childish behavior, all you'll get in your stocking this year is chewing gum. Oh, what a pity. I'm sorry you do this without your permission, but it's for a very worthy cause. Yeah, call my 10.30 and tell them I'm running late. Don't worry, I'll be back in time for the board meeting. And surely, if a guy named Nick shows up, do not let him leave. Nick is Santa Claus, and he's got to find a new Santa Claus soon. He's been gone all night, Daddy. What if somebody hurt him? Nick is a grown-up, sweetie. He knows how to stay out of trouble. Does he? Try the shelters yet? Yeah. We've got to find Nick soon, or there won't be any Christmas. All right, that'll be enough, Amy. Charlie, she's just upset. Sorry. It's just we don't want to make everybody else feel bad, too, right? It's hard to imagine they're really shutting you down, Melina. I oh, know. I called my dear friend, the councilman, this morning. He said he's already in escrow with Mr. Wrecking Ball. Unbelievable. Those are his men out there crawling all over the place. If you guys don't mind, I think I need a minute. Come on, Munchkin. I got a Christmas song. I'll teach ya. What for? What you mean, what for? Can I give you a lift, Susan? Yeah, thanks. You know Soho? Yeah, I do. Elena, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay. Hey, what do you think of it? Too busy? Yeah. Mm. A white beard and a red suit. Looks just like Santa Claus. Yeah, ciao. There's a million cabs in this city. Somebody will spot them. Great. You know, I can't help thinking that this is all my fault. Now, don't beat yourself up for being nice. Unless, of course, you always pick up guys in bars and bring them home with you. <laughs> no, Nick was my first one. <laughs> you know, he was the one that uh, suggested that I call you about Ben. I got more good advice from that man in one night 
than I've gotten from my shrink in years. People like that are hard to find. I know what you mean. So, uh, how long have you and Amy been on your own? Oh, about four years. Uh, my mother's in San Diego with some chiropractor selling crystals and massage tapes. Well, you've done a wonderful job raising her. She's quite a charmer. Thanks. She gets it from her dad, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's a family trait of the Mishes. Practically have to beat our fans off with a stick. Well, then remind me to get your autograph sometime. Miss you know perfectly well these men have a job to I do. I think you better listen to Melina. Maria! Maria! Get a truck full of Christmas stuff outside. It's not bad. Looks like you're gonna have a big hit on your hands, huh? It's gonna be a big bang, huh? That's right. Just what do you think you're doing? What do you mean? Don't play dumb, Santa Claus. You're the only guy I know who can get all this stuff out of people. Thanks, but it's too little too late. There isn't gonna be any show. We're evicted. Miss Leviakis, uh, what are all those children doing in there? They're having fun. You got a problem with that? I thought you told me there weren't gonna be any holdups. Yeah, that was before I did a little corporate search, Mr. Figgis. Found out the councilman here owns a big chunk of your development corporation. You see, the people don't like city officials getting rich off of public land. An investigation's gonna get real messy. Well, Mr. Talbot, you aren't gonna put anything in the newspapers. Be quiet, but... Ridley. What do you want, Talbot? Are you trying to bribe me, Mr. Figgis? Don't waste my time and name your price. Okay. I want you to give this building to Melina, free of charge. Done. I'll have my lawyers get right on it. And I want you here every week helping out. And no TV cameras taking pictures of Mr. Nice Guy. Just you and the kids one on one. You got it? You want me with children? Got it? Susan Roswell, please. I must see her right away. She's in a meeting. Oh, dear. I'll wait. What is this regarding, if I may ask? Christmas. I had a feeling. Yes, I told you to move my sensitivity training to five. Oh, 
light somewhere, will you? I'm working here. If you'd be kind enough to direct me to a seat, I'd be more than happy to oblige you. <sighs> right this way. Can I get you a cup of coffee or something? No, I do not need a cup of coffee. I need to speak with Susan Roswell. Keep your boots on. Jeez, I thought you guys were supposed to be jolly. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to snap at you like that. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very, very much. Good news or bad news? Oh, they fired some stringers. I bought some time, but Ben's still on thin ice. You got some aspirin, please. Here you go. You're gonna need it. You got a million messages. Uh -huh. You got your 330 at City Hall. And then there's this weird guy. Nick flew the coop. I win the bet. Yeah, I don't give a damn about the bet. Hey, how about this for a headline? Editor bummed out by bum. You like it? You know, I don't need this today, Ben. Oh, come on, honey. What's Nick to you anyway? A nice guy in trouble. He's not the only one. You've got a deadline, mister. Ooh, sore loser. Get your behind off my desk. Sorry. You should be. Let me tell you something, Mr. Ben Talbot. Susan just got out of a board meeting where she spent half her time trying to save your job. Don't ask me why, but she thinks you're worth it. The least you could do is show her a little respect. What'd she do that for? Women. Nick! Where have you been? I can explain it all to you, Mr. Talbot. The lights, everything. But right now, I've got to see Susan. Time's running out. I need her help. Wait a minute. What are you up to, mister? What's your scam? So, there you have it. And I assure you, I have no time for lies. The light of Christmas is going out all over the world. My powers are nearly gone, and I've only got one day left. And if I don't find someone to take my place, Christmas and I will die. Well, that's, uh, that's a one in a million story, Nick. You don't know it, but you just gave Susan the best Christmas present she ever had. Yeah, there's nothing she likes more than winning a bet, especially from yours truly. All right, let's chop some wood and find you a Santa Claus. Be sure to mention it's an emergency. Emergency, yes, sir. Okay, let's start from the top. What's your full name? Uh, well, there's several versions. Said Nick, Chris Kringle, Santa Claus. Uh... Pick one. Uh, how about just Nick? Yeah, how about just Nick? Great New York Santa Hunt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's just call him Nick. A man who believes Christmas is more than a two-week vacation in December or an excuse to jack up prices at the department store. A man who believes he is Santa Claus and is looking for somebody who's got enough Christmas spirit to last 300 years. If you think you're big enough to fit in Nick's shiny black boots, give us a call. The clock is ticking all over the world. Christmas time is running out. What's this all about? It's your story, man. You all want to be Santa. It's not that Bunter isn't a nice little dog. It's just that well, I'm afraid that he might nip at the reindeer. Merry Christmas Merry to both of you. <laughs> oh, Shirley, I think we should make it perfectly clear to everyone that we're only interested in human beings for the job. You got it, Nick. Mr. Talbot, oh. oh. I can't thank you enough for what you've done. No, it's nothing. Ben, Susan wants to see you pronto. Come here. Here, it's your turn now. Yo, here's a rap about MC Claus. Dashing down the chimney like my homeboy Flash. Looking so fresh in his nasty suit. Saying, word up, kids. Right hey, don't here, shoot. Right shoot, shoot, shoot. Right. 
the best Christmas article I've ever read. You can do it, Ben. Yeah, it's kind of heartwarming, isn't it? Look at all those people out there. You really touched them. Did I touch the board? Where it counts, sales are going crazy. Found this on my desk. Ben Talbot is considered a valued employee. Blah, 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 blah. Here's a good part. Make sure he's happy at the sun. Take whatever measures you feel are necessary. <laughs> you did it, Ben. So what do you want? What would you like, uh, a raise? How about an office? How about a raise and an office? How about you fire me? <laughs> I'm serious. I don't want to work here anymore. I'm tired of working for a bunch of boneheads who don't know a good reporter unless he draws a crowd. You have got to be kidding. After all I went through to keep you here? Come with me. After today, we can write our own ticket anywhere in town. It's amazing what a little sentimental do it. It's not sentimental. It's good. Come on, Sue. The only thing missing from that story was a visit to Grandma's house. Ben, how could you write so eloquently about something that you don't believe in? Don't take a genius. You just push a few buttons and watch the losers crawl out. Well, I guess you really pulled one over on me. I thought I was seeing some of that old Ben Talbot integrity. But I guess I'm just a loser like everybody else. Come on. I thought I saved the day around here. Why is everybody treating me like I did something wrong? Try saving yourself some time, Ben. Maybe then you won't be so quick to trash other people's feelings. You can hang around the sun as long as you'd like, but stay clear of me, because as far as I'm concerned, you are fired. What? Kindly leave. Well, if it isn't Chris Kringle hiding out from his public. <laughs> Did you find your man yet? No, not yet. But you've certainly given me a lot from which to choose. Yeah, well, I don't want any merit badges, thank you very much. Just stay out of my life. Well, that's rather difficult, after being a part of it for so many years. What's that supposed to mean? All right, Mr. Talbot. Who do you think brought you that Lionel train set when you were eight years old? And helped your wife, Vicky? those crazy plaid socks that you always wanted. What Christmas was it anyway? Six years ago. What, what did you get for Christmas when you were eight years old? I was. I don't seem to remember that either. Charger. You got a little... Boy, horse named Charger. Charger. Oh, yes. In it. Don't you worry, Nick. Ben's going to show up. Oh, I must find him. And before midnight. So you really think Ben is your man? Oh, I know he is. Only Santa Claus knows what I got for Christmas when I was eight years old. That was over 300 years ago. Realistically, Nick, I don't think Ben will take the job. Oh, he has to. Those lights are going out not only in New York, but all over the world. Believe me, he is Santa Claus. And it is imperative that I find them. <laughs> that just... Nick, try the rec center. We'll meet you there. Well, this, this is bad, you know? I think he's cracking. Well, you would be, too, if you thought you were letting down the whole world. Charlie, do you... I mean... Do you believe it? Hey. Looking at a guy who's always believed. Come on.
the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, with visions of sugar pops danced in their heads. I'm sorry, there's no word from the police, and Ben's not at his apartment. Well, I'm not gonna wait any longer. I'm going out to look for now, him. Now, Nick, if you just hang on, I'm sure Ben will be here soon. He wouldn't let Amy down. All right. All right, five minutes more. Uh, look, come on, I want you to see this. Explain that sign that I got from you then. What sign? Charger. My toy horse. Only Santa Claus can remember every single Christmas gift ever given. And those lights in there just now, going on and off like that. You already have Santa powers. Oh, please. You're just what Christmas needs. A, a fighter. Someone who'll fight to keep hope alive. I'm out for myself, Nick, just like everybody else. Hogwash. You gave Amy her show. You used your job at the paper to give Melina back the rec center. <coughs> Mr. <coughs> Mr. Talbot, you gave this neighborhood back its heart. And look what you did for Charlie and Susan, huh? And Freddie. Now he has someone to believe in. Not to mention the hundreds of people that came and answered your call today. Oh, please, please, say yes. <laughs> There's not much time left. <sighs> Can you think about it? Well, think quickly. But I could be Santa Claus right here. I don't have to go to the North Pole. Oh, come on, Ben. How many guys get to live for 300 years? Come on, Charlie. Don't tell me you're in on this, too. I'm driving. Suze? I mighty fall hard, Ben. <sighs> what is this, a cult? 28 minutes to 10, Charlie. Step on it. The airport, right? Yes, hurry, hurry. Momentarily, Nick. She's kidnapping, you know. Chill out, Ben. You got a big night ahead of you. Let me talk to 
talk to him. Mr. Tubbin, I was wrong <coughs> trying to force this on you. The decision is yours to make. <coughs> Take it easy, Nick. Take it easy. Look, I'm sorry. I can't be a Santa Claus. Why not? Because I don't have what it takes for the job, that's why. Your wife died over six years ago. You Vicky still... has nothing to do with it. She has everything to do with it. She's dead, and you're still alive. You can't cope with that. I know what it's like to be human. It's not easy. Especially when it comes to forgiving yourself. And that's what you have to do. Forgive yourself. Then everything else will fall into place, believe me. What about you, Nick? You're about to become human again. You sure you want to do that? Uh, I don't have a choice. You do. What are you going to do about it? for a new guy, huh? <laughs> call your sleigh. Right. How do I call my sleigh? Whistle. Like this for a cab or something? Any way you want. Any way I want, right? <laughs> <laughs> Working with a dedicated team of Christmas professionals up there. You're all loaded, and your course is set for you. Thanks, Vic. And I'm gonna miss you, fellas. Especially you, old red nose. And every time that I see a shooting star, I'll know it's you. <laughs> now, you be good to your new boss, you hear? Don't lead him astray. You need all the help that you can give him at first. Say hello to Rudolph. <laughs> Hi there, big fella. Hi, Hans! <laughs> Nick, I'm allergic to animals. Uh, not to worry. I was afraid of heights when I started. Just disappeared. Yeah. You're not going to need that anymore. Oh, right. Better say goodbye to your friends. Okay. Right? <laughs> hey, who'd ever thought I'd win a bet from Santa Claus? I think we all won this bet. <laughs> I'm losing my best rider. And my best friend. very good at this. I expect a letter from you every Christmas. And if you're a good girl, I promise you, all your wishes will come true. But behave yourself. <laughs> I'll give it a try. You're the best, Susan. Hey, you look great. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, don't worry about her, because I'm going to take care of her. 
fatten her up too much with all the good food, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Come here, honey. I love you. I love you too, kid. Then now that you're Santa Claus, can you do me a favor? Anything. Can you make it snow for Christmas? Jamaica hanging me stock ends waiting for you. Okay, sounds good. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. This is great. Wait, I almost forgot. Promise I made the Sheila up there. Merry Christmas, Amy. Merry Christmas, Santa Claus. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Santa. Yeah! Yeah! Merry Christmas! <laughs>